walking with Jesus every day, every moment with Him. His power and presence is changing my life from within. And my life is transformed by His power. And my life is transformed by His grace. And my life is transformed by the words that he speaks over me as I look on his face. Today I choose to follow you. Jesus, I will follow you. Today I choose to live for you. Jesus, you are all I walking with you. Good evening, everybody, and welcome once again to another hour of prayer and worship. Great to have you with us as the people of God interceding before our Heavenly Father once again this evening. And if you need personal prayer, don't forget you can contact our 24-hour prayer center by telephone where someone will pray with you or by email where your prayer requests will be earnestly prayed over. And if you have an answer to prayer, please don't forget to let them know also. And again, we'll be sharing some more testimonies this evening of answers to prayer that we've seen happening here in the church. And we're continuing to base our prayer points on Scripture. And this month, we have moved into the Gospel of Matthew. So Matthew chapter 1, which starts off with all the ancestors of Jesus. So we're looking at the example of our spiritual forefathers and um, taking them up and our prayer points are based on them. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11, it tells us, the Bible tells us that those in the Old Testament were there as an example for us. Sometimes they're an example uh, for good and other times they are an example for bad, to to be avoided. And so... um, We take uh, each of these and we're going to be basing our prayer points on them. So uh, the passage we come to today is Matthew chapter 1, verses 6 to 8. So it talks about these uh, characters in the ancestry of Jesus. Um, There is um, uh, Jesse, the father of King David. There's Solomon. There is um, uh, Rehoboam, who was the, the son of Solomon. There was uh, Abijah, there was Asa, there was Jehoshaphat. Um, So these are some of the names in the the passage that we're looking at today. So the example of our spiritual forefathers. There's David. David, of course, a a spiritual giant in many ways, uh, although he took down a a giant, didn't he? So an example because of his faith in tackling... um, Seemingly impossible situations, but with, a, with a, his faith in the Lord, then all thing, things are possible. Um, we think of him about a man of worship, wrote the many psalms, worship the Lord. So always worshiping God. We think of him as a, a prophetic person. Many of his songs, all of his songs were, were prophetic songs. Um, we think about a man who endured through great hardships over many years before he became king. Think of a man who wrote Psalm 51 psalm of repentance who publicly confessed his wrongdoing and repented that's why God could forgive him so uh, various aspects there that we can um, emulate in David there is Solomon um, known of course for his wisdom Uh, his wisdom was great but not universal his wisdom was he asked for wisdom for to govern so he had great wisdom for politics for running a country Um, all sorts of areas like that. The one area that he didn't have wisdom for was his own personal life. And that was his own own downfall, wasn't it? The book of Ecclesiastes shows us how a man, of of a man that he wrote, of of a man in his middle years, drifting from God. Um, There's Rehoboam, another character here. Um, One of the forefathers of Jesus, who was the son of Solomon. Solomon, in some ways, didn't give a very good example to his son. But Rehoboam was a a weak leader, someone that we would not emulate. 
So somebody who was too easily influenced by his peers, his friends who gave him bad advice and caused the country great trouble. There's Jehoshaphat in this passage. We remember Jehoshaphat as the man who had a great army coming against him that he couldn't compete with. So he just praised God. So as he praised the Lord, the Bible tells us, the the enemies turned on each other and God won the great battle. So we think of Jehoshaphat as a man uh, who won battles through through praise. And then there's Asa, uh, another of the line of Jesus. Asa, another king. And he's a person who started well in life. But at the end of his years, he, he, he backslid. And um, so he, um, that's something to be uh, looked at and avoided. Example of the Bible so that we can avoid those things as well. Um, he, he, at the end of his life, he, the prophet told him, sort yourself out. And he got so annoyed that he, uh, that he attacked the prophet. And um, so example of somebody who started well but finished not so well. So we're going to be praying today then about uh, examples of our spiritual father, forefathers, things to avoid, things to embrace and ask God to help us in. So let's just pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words. Lord, we thank you that your word faithfully records the lives of men and women. Lord, you show the good things, you show the, the failings, and that helps us in many ways. And so, Lord God, as we read your word and put it into practice, Lord, help us to emulate the good and to shun the bad, Lord, so that we can walk carefully in your ways. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to start by declaring, um, blessed uh, be your name, O Lord. So whether we walk through life, some of these characters, they had good times, they had bad times. Some were great examples to follow, some were not. But whatever comes our way, we bless the Lord. Every blessing, every blessing. 
Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, at times, Lord, our roads as well may be marked with pain and suffering. Lord, at times, Lord Jesus, when we go through great times, oh God, hard times, Lord Jesus, great trials, oh God, Bring us to the place as well, Lord, that we'll be able to sing your praises and say, Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Lord, that you turn all our suffering, Lord Jesus, right into your praises, O God, that we may be able to sing praises to you, Lord Jesus, even during those times, Lord Jesus. Oh God, because you control everything in our lives, Lord Jesus. You can see the start to the end of our life. You can see our lives just as they are, oh God. You can see what's going to take place in the next hour or next week or next year. We can't, Lord, but you can, Jesus. Oh God, may we be able to bless your name at all times, oh God. Not only in the good times of our lives when it's so easy to sing your praises, But, oh God, even in difficult times, oh Lord, because you are God. And when we praise you, Lord Jesus, the atmosphere will just change, oh Lord. God, then our focus will come upon you. Our focus will go upon you, Lord Jesus. And there will be a shift in the atmosphere, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Lord Jesus, God, we pray, Lord, for those even who have joined us in this prayer meeting, your sons and daughters, Lord, who may be walking the road of pain and suffering at this time. Lord Jesus, we pray, O God, for your hand to rest upon them, Lord Jesus. Lord, lay your hand upon them, O God. All those who are struggling at this time, Lord Jesus, struggling, oh God, going through great pain and hardships. Lord, they may be having a loved one in hospital, admitted because they are sick. They may be a son or daughter, Lord Jesus, who have just turned away from you. Some may have lost their jobs. There may be so many ways, oh God, that your sons and daughters are going through tough times at this time. Whatever they're going through, God, we pray, Lord Jesus, for your hand to rest upon them, oh God. Come upon them powerfully, Lord Jesus. Give them the courage and the strength, O oh God, to go through life, Lord Jesus. Strength and courage, O oh God, to go through this life, especially as in this season, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Lord, thank you that even when we praise you, O oh God, our faith, Lord Jesus, And our trust in you increases, Lord, because we see that you're in control. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. A couple of uh, testimonies, short testimonies I'd like to share with you. It's about, in fact, two ex-Muslim people who came to know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of their lives and how their lives changed. One man said... um, I did not know the true God. He's an ex-Muslim. I did not know the true God. I studied the Quran and I studied it well. But one day when I was witnessed to by a friend, I found, I found Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. He, this friend had just spoken to him once. And then this brother became very interested to know what is it that his other Muslim friend who is now a believer what, did, what has he got? Because he seemed like a changed man. He's a happy man. He seemed to know his purpose in life. What, is, what has he got? So this brother now, he said, When my friend witnessed to me, I found Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of my life. Today he said, I understand who God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is. I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And it's not through works. It's through faith in Jesus Christ that that I gain salvation from him. And whenever I pray, he said, 
God's Holy Spirit just comes into my room and he's experienced even the Shekinah glory of God. He said it's like a cloud that comes into his room. The Lord Jesus Christ is alive and real and I can talk to him anytime I want to. He's a God of love, he said. He's a God of love and shows me compassion and love. He has helped me in so many different ways. I'm truly grateful for the eternal life I have. And I also witnessed to others freely about Jesus Christ. I was once a man who knew the Quran. But now I spread the good news about Jesus because I found life, eternal life in Jesus. And another one from a sister, an ex-Muslim sister. She said, um, I, I did not know Jesus, she said. I once dreamt of Jesus with white robes. They were like, you know, long robes, shiny robes, dazzling robes. In a sleep, in a dream, she said. At that time, I was going through a lot of stress. A lot of stress in my, uh, in, in my life. And the dream was very vivid and very real. And in that dream, Jesus said to me, don't worry, and that he will look after me. Praise God. And then she says, soon after that, she's invited to ECC by a friend. And she came to ECC and she gave Jesus Christ her life. She invited him into her life to be the Lord and Savior of her life. Today, I'm a keen follower of Jesus Christ. How awesome. Isaiah 43 verse 11 says, I, even I, am the Lord and there's no Savior besides me. Hallelujah. God is good. If you are a believer from another, if you come f out from a religion, and now you know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life, we like to pray for you that God will keep you strong. Perhaps you know of others as well who've come out from a religion and now uh, know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of their life. Christianity is not religion. It's a relationship with the one and through God. So if you know of anyone, or perhaps yourself, you may be an ex-Muslim or a Hindu or a Sikh or whatever, come up from Buddhism, let's pray that God will keep you strong at this time, that you will be a great influence on other families and friends and, and others. Lord Jesus, we pray, O oh God, from amongst us in ECC, God, from those that have come up from a religion, O oh God, Religion of works. Religion, God, where they did not know the one and through God, but today they know you as the Lord and Savior of their lives. Lord Jesus, we pray that you keep them strong. Strong, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Place your hedge around about them, O oh God, and help them, O oh God, especially, Lord, if they come across any kind of persecution from anyone, O oh God, maybe from family members or others, O oh God, for having given up that religion and coming to know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of their lives. Keep them strong, Lord Jesus. Keep them walking the straight and narrow path with you, O Lord. And Lord, not only that, we pray, God, your power of God will be so strong in them, God, that the unsaved people around about them will see that they have something that they don't have, that they become a great witness for you. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, prayer point one, give us a heart like David, whose heart is in his God, who, whose trust is in his God, who helped him overcome the lion, the bag, the Goliath, and any other obstacle that came against him as a child of God. So we pray that God will give us a heart like David's, who trusted God and overcame all those obstacles, the lion, the bear, and the Goliath. Um, I just read a few verses from a psalm that David wrote. He wrote many psalms and he sang, sang them. When he, some of the psalms, how he overcame all the challenges and God gave him the victory. Psalm 27, verse 1 to 4. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? Remember, this was a man who went through great hardships. And he's here to encourage us today. 
When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and they will fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I'm attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in His temple. Praise God, one man who faced so many obstacles, but he trusted in God and he overcame them. So let's pray that God will give us a heart like David's. Lord Jesus, we say thank you, dear God. Thank you, Lord. David went through great obstacles, Lord. He faced the lion, Lord Jesus, and the bear and Goliath, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we pray as children of God, as one man, oh God, in the Bible, went through all these things and through his Psalms and through the Word, is encouraging us today. Lord, we pray, grant us a heart like David's, oh God. Grant us a heart like David's God that we should not fear when troubles come into our lives, O oh Lord Jesus, because we shall run to you, God, because you are our light and you are our salvation, O oh God. Lord, keep us strong because you are our fortress, Lord Jesus. Help our trust only be in you, Lord Jesus. Doesn't matter what obstacles we may meet in life because we shall face obstacles in life, Lord, just like David did. And we need our hearts to be strong like David's as well. To go through, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, when we, go th when we walk through the fire, Lord Jesus, we shall not be burnt, oh God. When we walk through the deep waters, we shall not drown, Lord Jesus. Because you will hold us close to yourself. Lord Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us to remain confident as David was. Not wavering, oh God, but remaining steadfast in you is what we pray for, God. Help us to remain steadfast in you, Lord Jesus, to be immovable, Lord, in you, because you are our rock. On you we stand. Help us to build our lives on you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come and let your presence feel our praise. Let's continue to worship God, even through this song. Thank you, Jesus.
the phrases that we say. Oh, for you, yes. Here we are, here we are. It's so for you, oh Lord. Here we are, here we are, with our eyes wide open. It's so for you. that we Lord, we need your presence continually around us. Lord, whatever we're doing, wherever we are, whatever the time of the day or the night, Lord God, we just need your presence with us. And Lord, we just thank you that you said you'll never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are within us at all times. You're around us, Lord, whether we are aware of you or whether we are not aware of you, you're always there. And Lord God, we just thank you that we carry your presence wherever we go. So Lord God, let us just be conscious, Lord, that you're always there with us. You would never forsake us, you said. So Lord God, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. So as we base our prayer points then on the, uh, on the scriptures, which is the, this case, the example of our spiritual forefathers, or in some cases, or mothers, if there's such a word. Um, we're looking now at um, Solomon. And our next prayer point says this. Give us the wisdom to avoid the sins of Solomon, whose love for ungodly women led him to compromise his spiritual life. And also the foolishness of Rehoboam, who rejected the wise advice of his elders for foolish advice. So there are, as we were saying, there's some uh, characters who are there to uh, copy and others there to avoid what they were doing. And um, Solomon, he, he had everything going for him, but he allowed, uh, well, he, he, he did what the Bible told him not to do, which was don't marry uh, women who, um, who don't know the Lord. That was, that was the thing. Um, for the very reason that happened, that they would lead you away from, from God. Um, so he, he, he backslid himself, as we can see from the book of Ecclesiastes. And we've got a, a prayer request, first of all, along these lines here, from somebody who has asked us to pray for a particular individual whose name I have with me in front of me here, who is backslidden and um, making the wrong choices. So please pray for the restoration and understanding of God's love and purpose in this particular person's life who is lost and uh, wandering, the Bible, uh, the re request says. So let's just bring, first of all, then, we bring this person, but there, we will all know people who have backslidden. You will know somebody by name, and 
Uh, they may be family members. They may be somebody we know very, <coughs> very well. Or they may be people that we have um, once walked with, once know, once been in fellowship with. But now they've, they've fallen away. It's very difficult to understand why someone would walk away from God. Often circumstances or whatever. But those are the times to hold on to God, not to walk away. Well, you name before God right now. You just bring up before God the names of any people you know that you'd like us to pray for. We're going to all pray together. And as the names come up, we will all join together and, and intercede with God on behalf of these people. So you, you mention them by name, whoever they may be. People that once made a confession for the Lord but have now walked away, backsliding. So let's lift them up before God to say, bring them home, Lord. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I, I bring this particular person before you right now, Lord God, who's <laughs> specifically, uh, someone has specifically requested prayer for. And, and, and Father, we just pray for this backslider and also, Lord, for the, all those individuals who are being named before you right now, Lord God. All the names that are coming up before you, Lord. You know each individual. You know, you know their circumstances. You know the time when they first gave their life to you. You know the time, Lord God, when they walked away. Lord, you knew, know the time when their heart grew cold. Maybe for some it was a sudden thing, but very often, Lord, it is a gradual thing as people just drift away. And Lord, we're just praying right now. We bring them up before you right now in the name of Jesus. And we just say, Lord God, for every backslider that we are naming now, Lord, bring them home, we pray. Bring home the prodigal sons. Bring home the prodigal daughters. Spirit of the living God, we pray. Lord, there is something within them, Lord God, that they know that you are real. Because, Lord, once we've had that relationship with you, it's very hard to lose that. There's always something there. So we just pray, Lord God, stir up, Lord. Even if it's the smallest spark, we pray, Lord, that you'll breathe on it, Holy Spirit. And, and the, the breath of your wind over that spark, Lord, will turn into a, a flame once more and turn into a fire. So, Lord God, we just pray for them. Bring them home, Lord God. Bring them back to you, we pray. Lord, we intercede for them and pray, Lord God, that you'll just open their eyes and open their minds. Every individual, Lord, every name that's come up before you right now, Lord, together, Lord, we lift them up in our collective prayer of faith and we say, Lord, bring them home. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, as we're praying for um, wisdom to avoid the sins of Solomon and the foolishness of Rehoboam, his son, um, let's start, first of all, by uh, praying that, um, that God would always provide for us godly um, advisors around us, godly people around about us. Um, I suppose if you're a king in Solomon's day, it's very difficult for people to speak into your life. Um, prophets could, but sometimes that's a very dangerous thing. Um, and also rare bone. Uh, um, those round about him, gave him foolish advice so let's just pray first of all that we will be surrounded we'd always have someone around us who we can go to to give us good advice and and particularly when maybe we're we're going in the wrong direction that we would have the grace for somebody to come alongside us and say look this is not the best way well we let's just pray for each one of us right now to to have at least one person that will be able to speak into our life in those circumstances so let's just lift ourselves up in the church Heavenly Father, we just thank you that you love us, Lord God. And Lord God, we just commit ourselves as individuals into your hands right now. And we commit, Lord, each member of the church into your hands right now. And Lord, we, we thank you, Lord, for others. We thank you, Lord, for the body of Christ. We thank you for wise men and women of God. And we just pray, Lord, that you, you would, we would never be without someone, Lord, who can speak into our lives. Someone, Lord, who can uh, encourage us someone who can show us the right pathway at all times, Lord God. And those times, Lord God, when we, are, we, we don't know what to do, perhaps, or we are confused or we are undecided, Lord, put people in our way, Lord, who are always there to guide us at the right time. Spirit of the living God, we pray in Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, we're going to um, move on to our next uh, area of prayer, which is this. That God would uh, keep us from 
bad company. So we, we prayed for good company around us. Um, there may be times that we can't avoid bad company, maybe in our workplace or uh, other areas that we, we are. But um, nevertheless, we can um, just pray that we would be surrounded by his presence at this, this time. So let's just, again, bring ourselves before the Lord right now. Heavenly Father, we live in this world, but you said, Lord, we're not of this world. So, But Lord, in those times when we are in bad company, not through choice, Lord, but through circumstances, maybe workplace or whatever, where we have no option. We just pray, Lord God, that keep us from being influenced adversely, we pray. Lord, always give us that, um, that strength and that shield, that protection. Spirit of the living God, we pray, so that we don't succumb, Lord, at any time in these areas, we pray. Lord, surround us with your presence, Lord God. Give us the strength of character, Lord, that we can always stand up. And Lord God, even when it's difficult, the circumstances that we find ourselves in, even for a prolonged period of time, we just pray, Lord God, that you would just guide and lead us and help us at those times, we ask. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And then just um, lastly, as we're praying for wisdom to avoid the sins of Solomon and the foolishness of Rehoboam, Let's just pray for all our discipleship groups. You know, they are good places to be in. Whether you are a man or a woman, a young person, um, being in a small group of people, like-minded people who are there to lift us up, um, encourage us, motivate us, instruct us. Let's just um, pray for our discipleship groups. And if you're, if you're part of ECC and you're not part of a small group, then you just contact us and we'll put you in the right place. So, Heavenly Father, we just pray for all our discipleship groups right now, Lord. We pray for them. We thank you for them, Lord God. We thank you for the way that, um, according to your word, Lord God, the small groups, we uh, build one another up, we encourage one another in the, in the things of God and the ways of God. Bless the groups, Lord God. Bless the leaders. Multiply the leaders and multiply the people, Lord, who, who attend them, we pray. And Lord, in the process, we just pray that that strength that comes from that time together regularly, each week, Lord, will help us through the week, Lord God, when maybe uh, circumstances are difficult and tough. But Lord, we will be sustained through that fellowship, we pray. So Father, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's um, just come before the Lord right now. We're going to say, come, now is the time to worship. Uh, every moment is the time to worship. Worship means to show our worth for God. So we can worship God in different ways. But right now we're going to Worship Him in song and worship Him in prayer.
Yes, Lord. Now is the time to worship you. Now is the time to give our hearts to you. Oh God, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are the Lord of our lives and we surrender our lives to you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 One sister, she requested prayers from the church and she has placed her request in a number of times for a very difficult situation that she was going through. She said as a result of, of the prayers that were being prayed on behalf of her and also she really pushed in in prayer, God had really helped her and changed the situation. She went through a very difficult divorce and also great anxiety. She received much prayer and support during the times when she requested prayers. She said she was being prayed for and it went on for a season, she said. And she also suffered from a broken heart. And during the dark moments of her life, she said, the Lord strengthened me. It took time for me to overcome my situation. But prayer pulled me through those dark times. And also, she requested prayers for her emotions. Her feelings are going up and down. That would just come upon her. And she said she thanked God for that because He has helped her through that journey. And today she said, very excitedly, excitedly that she's dating a new person and her request is please pray for the Lord's guidance and wisdom and help that this relationship will blossom. So she's asking God's guidance there. She's praying for that. Psalm 147 verse 3 says, He heals the brokenhearted and He binds up their wounds. In John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Not as, as the world do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. We would like to pray today for anyone who may be going through such difficult times where there's a broken relationship there and your heart is just so broken and perhaps it may have happened some time ago but you're just still carrying the wounds. We'd like to come alongside you and just pray with you and those others around about us as well. Let's pray for those who are suffering from a broken heart, that pain that they're going through, that God will bring healing into their hearts and help them to overcome those dark moments, especially in the night or any time of the day, that these dark moments just hit them, that God would just strengthen them and bring them through it. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we say thank you, dear God. Thank you, Jesus. You're the one who heals the brokenhearted God and you're the one who binds up wounds, Lord Jesus, of those, oh God, who are going through very difficult time at this time. Lord, especially those suffering from broken relationships, God, where, Lord, the heart of your son or your daughter has been broken up to smithereens, oh God. Lord, it's only you who can put the pieces together, Lord Jesus. God, we come on their behalf, God, and we, and we pray, Lord Jesus, for them, O oh God, even as they're stretching out to you, Lord, that you bring healing and wholeness into their hearts at this time, Lord Jesus. Bring healing and wholeness into their hearts, Lord Jesus. Help them, O oh God, to overcome this situation, to overcome this, God, that they can move on in life with you, Jesus. They be made whole, O oh God, and move on with you, Lord. Because you've got great plans and purposes for their lives. The enemy comes to still kill and destroy, but you come to give them hope and you come to give them a future, Lord Jesus. Help them, O oh God. You come to give them abundant life, dear God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And help them, Lord, to fall into place with their destiny with you, God. Amen. Amen. Prayer point three, like Jehoshaphat, 
Enable us to face all our coming trials and battles with a faith that is able to sing praises unto God, which then see our trials fade into insignificance as we worship and as we praise God. May all our problems and trials fade into insignificance when we raise our voices up to God, when we praise Him and encourage us all. Let's just praise God every day of our lives. Even pick up a psalm and start singing into it. It doesn't matter how it comes out. Just, you know, let your voice, let your throat just vibrate. Just worship God. Sing to Him. And, and, um, and great things will happen for us because then we, we keep focusing on the Lord at all times. So, Jehoshaphat, 2 Chronicles chapter 20. He had appointed men to sing to the Lord. He wanted them to praise the Lord because of His glory and His holiness. And they marched on in front of the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love continues forever. And what happened as they began to sing and praise God, the enemy turned on each other and they destroyed each other. And great victory came, even as they praised and then worshipped God. When we praise and worship, may our atmosphere around us change as well. May answers to prayer come for us as well. Let's pray together. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we pray, O oh God, God Almighty Lord, let us not walk around fearful of our enemy, Lord Jesus, whether it's the devil, O oh God, that we fear, or that is maybe throwing rubbish at us, O oh God, whether maybe our thoughts, Lord Jesus, our neighbors, O oh God, or someone, O oh God Almighty, or whatever obstacle, Lord Jesus, that we are facing at this time, Lord, we pray, God, that you will enable us to praise you, Lord Jesus. The enemy wants us to stop praising you, O oh God, and to focus on our problems, focus on those obstacles, focus on those mountains until they become so big in our minds, O oh God. But Lord Jesus, we pray, O oh God, may the obstacles, whatever we face, God Almighty, bigger the obstacle, God, let our praises be even bigger than that, O oh Lord Jesus. O oh God, as we praise you, God, like Jehoshaphat, O oh God, Sorry, all his trials, oh God, just faded in, into in, insignificance, oh God. The enemies then attacked each other and they destroyed each other. Lord Jesus, help us to praise you, oh God, especially during tough times as well. Lord Jesus, that the spiritual atmosphere, God, will change, Lord Jesus. Oh God, whatever demonic world, whatever situations there may be, will come tumbling down, Lord Jesus, because now we are partnering with you, God. Our minds and our eyes are focused upon you and your greatness and your power, Lord, on how great you are, oh God. Now, how not how great our obstacle is or our mountain is, oh God, which are built in our mind, oh God, if we focus on that. But, oh God, when we focus on you and when we praise you, God, you become so big, you, you become limitless for us, oh God. And that's where, Lord, something happens, oh God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to praise you, God, until all our trials as well will fade into insignificance, oh God. Just like Jehoshaphat did, oh God. Help us to follow this example as well. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray and ask. Amen. Amen. Let's declare this in prayer. I am a winner. Even as we sing this song. Hallelujah. I am a winner. I am a winner. Oh, the devil knows that I am a winner. I am a winner. Things already better For the Lord is on the throne Things already better Things already better Things already better Things already better Things already better, Things already better. For the Lord is on the throne Things already better Things already better Things already better I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. 
With Jesus, we're always a winner because we're on the winning side. Jesus has defeated all powers of darkness, death, sin. We belong to him. We're on the winning side. Well, as we come to our final prayer request, uh, prayer point rather, um, we're praying this. Give us uh, staying power, O Lord, that enables us to continue faithful to you and your ways to the end, unlike Asa, who backslid in his final years. So Asa did well, and then he backslid, and he did not end well. So we're going to pray right now. Let's pray for staying power. Now, I don't know if you're flagging at all. You know, in the current circumstances that we live in, live in it's um, very difficult for our spirits to start to flag, and we can lose the, um, the, 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 the momentum to keep moving forward. So if you're flagging in any way, shape, or form, whether it's uh, emotionally or spiritually, we're going to pray for you right now. So if that's you, just say, Lord, um, I can identify with that. I, I'm flagging somewhat, but I, I want to be lifted up and I want to, be, uh, to press on. So we're gonna, for anybody who's flagging there, we're going to pray for you right now. And we're going to pray, Lord, help us to go the full distance and um, help us to get up if we're, we're falling down. So let's, if that's you, just say, Lord, please include me in this prayer request. And if it's not you, then come on, let's all pray for everybody else. There's a lot of people in this situation. So let's pray now. Heavenly Father, we just lift one another up before you. Lord God, particularly at this time of uh, national trial, Lord God, where um, just the pressure, Lord, of day by day, week by week, month by month, Lord, of the changes that we have not been used to. Lord God, that are upon us. We just pray, Lord, for anyone who is flagging right now. Lord, for those who are flagging emotionally, Lord, we just pray, touch their emotions right now. For those who are flagging spiritually, Lord God, we pray, touch their spirit life right now, Lord God. Touch their spirit. And Lord, we just pray in Jesus' name, Lord God, for, to, to start to lift us up right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, that if we have fallen down to any measure, in these areas. Lord, we just pray. Pick us up right now, we ask. And Lord God, we just pray, help us to go the full distance. Lord, not to um, see the finishing line ahead, but falling short. Lord, not like Asa, Lord God, who didn't go the full distance. But Lord, we just pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to do so, we ask. Spirit of living God, we lift ourselves up before you right now. Our collective faith, Lord God, we lift one another up. And just pray, Lord God, in Jesus' name, for any who are flagging, Lord, let us just be lifted up right now in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. So um, we're going to declare in song now then. Um, we won't stop now. Uh, this says, I know a breakthrough is coming. So let's, if that's what you're looking for, a breakthrough, why don't you sing this out in prayer, in faith. <laughs>